What's up Learn How Nation and welcome back to another video part of my series 30 apps in 30 days. In this video we are going to talk about how to use the iPhone podcast app. I'm Andy and you're watching Learn How. We create video lessons and tutorials to help people learn how to use technology to improve their lifestyle. So if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing. Also, don't forget up in this corner, we've got some free downloads for you guys also to help you out to help you improve your lifestyle. So check that out at any time during the video. All right, I wanna give a few shout outs before we start this video. First shout out goes to Prince YT. Thank you for the love in the comments section. If you leave a comment below, I read all of the comments and I'd love to give you guys a shout out on one of my videos. So make sure you're hitting that thumbs up and commenting so I can get to know you better. All right guys, let's jump in right to this video. We're gonna be talking about how to use the iPhone podcast app. Podcasts have been really huge lately um, and I actually recently started a podcast to help people learn how to improve their lifestyle through online business, technology, and lifestyle. So I'm gonna be doing some solo shows, interviewing some people. Uh, it's been a great show so far. So if you aren't already listening to it, jump onto iTunes or Google Play. I'll throw a link in the description below this video so you guys can check out the podcast. But there are a ton of awesome podcasts out there these days and a bunch that I listen to. And the podcast app on the iPhone is a great way to manage and organize all of your podcasts. So let's jump right into the app and kind of see how it works. Right here off the bat, the library is going to be the main thing that you're gonna use with the podcast app. I've talked to a lot of people about what kind of podcast they're listening to, and a, a common response for a lot of people is that they're not listening to podcasts because they don't really understand how to use the podcast app because it can be, I guess, a little confusing once you're first getting used to it. So we're gonna hopefully cover some things to help you feel comfortable with the podcast app. The library is where you store all of the different shows that you're subscribed to. So it kind of works like YouTube where you can subscribe to shows and they'll automatically update for you right here in your library. So right at the top of the screen, you'll see shows and episodes. So if I click on shows, it will show me all the shows that I'm subscribed to on the podcast app. And we'll get into how to subscribe here in just a sec. If I go back, can click on episodes, and it will show me all of the recent episodes that have come out from the different podcasts that I'm subscribed to. Back on this library screen, you can see recently updated. These are all the shows that I'm subscribed to, and so I can click on one of them and see their most recent episode, or I can scroll down and see some of the other episodes that are available. If I go all the way down, this is where you're going to you're going to find really really old episodes if you want to scroll through and see what this show has put out in the past. I use this all the time. You're going to click on available episodes and you can see every single episode that has ever come out on the show. So, on my show I don't have a whole lot out yet. So, that's all of them right there. But like, for example, I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to Gary V. I'm going to scroll down. He has a lot of recent episodes. He puts out a lot of content go all the way down available episodes now I can scroll through for days with Gary V there are so many episodes on here like I can't even scroll fast enough to get them all but that's how you go and see all of the episodes I do this all the time because I'll scroll through and see and look for specific episodes based on the title and description that would be interesting to me so that's how you go back and see all of the episodes so let's look at a show, how to go about finding a show, subscribing, and how that all works. Down at the very bottom of the screen, there's a browse feature. So if you click on browse, this is kind of like an iTunes store where you can browse different shows. So you can see here right off the bat, there's feature, there's top charts, there's categories. So let me just go to like top charts. Um, so it's sorted by episodes right now, but I can sort it by podcasts. So these are some of the top podcasts I'm in all categories if I wanted to look for let's say um, business episodes I'm gonna switch to podcasts okay here we go some top podcasts so let's look at 
The Dave Ramsey Show. So once you find your podcast that you want to subscribe to, it's as easy as hitting that big subscribe button and then you're subscribed to the podcast so that back in your library, it will be there and it will automatically update the new shows for you. So if I go back to my library, you can see the Dave Ramsey show is now in my library of podcasts that I'm subscribed to. So if I click in the Dave Ramsey show, I can play right there. That top episode is his most recent episode. And I can scroll down. So right there under my episodes, first of all, is the episodes that have recently come out. But I can go back to that available episodes and scroll and see all of his episodes. So now, let's say I want to listen to an episode. I can press that play, bu play button right there and listen to the episode. And it will stream the episode using LTE or Wi-Fi, whatever you're connected to. So you'll see the bar at the bottom of of the screen up here, I can tap on that and kind of see the main controls. It's kind of like the music app, same sort of thing. You can pause it, uh, fast forward, that whole thing. But right now I'm just listening to the episode using like 3G or LTE or whatever. So I'm gonna just pause that and go to available episodes. Okay, so this is something else that I like to do too. If you're gonna be in the car for a while and let's say you wanna have a couple episodes lined up, you can download episodes and put them in order so that they will automatically play in order. So that's why when I scroll through here and I see these plus signs next to an episode title, I can hit that plus sign and it will add it to the list of, of episodes for that show, if that makes sense. So if I press back, you'll see right here under my episodes, it has that one that I just added, 9415, how to alleviate the anxiety. I added that one by clicking the plus sign. So that's in my my episodes. So that little cloud icon means that I can download that episode to my phone temporarily so that I'm not using LTE or 3G when I'm out and about listening to it. So if you don't have unlimited data, you can just hit that little cloud. Like I'm connected to Wi-Fi right now. I can hit the little cloud, download the episode to my phone so that I can listen to it when I'm out and about doing whatever. And then once you're done, the app automatically removes episodes after you've listened to it. So after you listen to it, it will delete it from your phone so it's not taking up storage. So there, now I got two episodes in my playlist. So let's say I'm listening to this one that I already started. It's down here at the bottom, 9425. I'm already listening to this one. I'll press play, I'm listening to it. And I want to get it set up so that when that episode ends, I don't have to fiddle with my phone and find the next episode. So I'm going to go down here to this one I added, 9415. I'm going to click on it. It's not playing. I'm still listening to 9425. If I click these three dots next to the play, I can click play next. So that's adding that episode to my queue. So as soon as the episode I'm listening to right now ends, this next episode is going to automatically start playing. So you can do that with any show. You can mix shows. So I do this all the time. So let's say I want to listen to, I'm going to go back to library. Let's say I'm listening to one of my episodes right now. Good point to remember right here. So I'm already listening to an episode and I've already made my cue. So I've got those two Dave, Dave Ramsey episodes playing. So I can either choose to keep that, that Dave Ramsey episode up next or I can clear it and start over. I still wanna listen to that Dave Ramsey episode next, so I'm gonna say keep up next. So now the order is my episode, then the Dave Ramsey episode. I can go back, let's do Gary V next. Click on one of these ones. Maybe I wanna to listen to this episode next. Click the three dots. And now is what I'm gonna click is play later. So see it right there, play later. So now I'm setting up my playlist and it's kind of, you have to kind of keep track of it in your head. So I've got my episode, Dave Ramsey, then Gary Vee's episode. And that's kind of how you can pre-organize episodes that you want to listen to. Otherwise, when an episode ends, it's just going to play the next episode from that podcast. But if there's very specific episodes you want to listen to, that's how you organize it. Okay, so one last thing that I'm gonna talk about with this app is the search feature down in the bottom right. This is where if you know the name of the podcast or if you wanna search for a specific type of episode, you can just type it in right here. So 
if you know that there's a podcast called Entrepreneur Entrepreneur on Fire, you've heard about this, you want to find it, you can just search for it right here. And there it is, Entrepreneur on Fire. And subscribe or listen to an episode. Something that is nice is that you don't have to subscribe to a podcast just to listen to one episode. So I could just come down here if I want, if I'm looking for a very specific episode, and I can just click on it. And once it loads, I can just play it right there. I don't I don't necessarily have to subscribe. It's kind of like YouTube. You can just watch YouTube videos without subscribing to the channel. But if it's a channel you like and you want to hear what's coming out next from them, you subscribe so you can kind of keep an eye on them and see what's coming up next. That's basically the podcasting app, guys. So just remember, the main thing you're going to focus on after you've found some episodes and subs- I mean some podcasts and subscribed, you're just going to use this library. You're just going to go back to your main library. And whenever you want to listen to a show, you can just click on a specific show, find the episode you want to listen to, and listen to it. Or if you just want to go in order, play the most recent one. And after that, it's just going to play the next one. And then, like we said, if you want to set up a little custom playlist, you can use the play next and play later feature to kind of set up a little custom playlist for yourself. Sorry, one last thing, I guess. Listen now at the bottom left. I'll just talk about it. This just shows all the most recent episodes from all of the podcasts that you're subscribed to. So if you just want to quickly see what's out from all the, the podcasts you're subscribed to, just click listen now. You can scroll through and see, all right, that's what's what's out recently from, from these guys and click on it and play it. That's how the podcasting app works, guys. And I recommend going out, finding some podcasts that you enjoy. If that's to learn how podcasts, great. If not, go find some podcasts that are interesting to you. One of the best things about audio these days is you can multitask. You can listen to a podcast while you're driving to work, while you're working out at the gym, while you're doing the dishes. Uh, You can just play it through your speakers at home. There's so many benefits to audio these days that it's worth your time just to enjoy or listen to something uplifting or fulfilling for you. There's not just business podcasts out there. There's like storytelling podcasts. uh, There's history podcasts, entertainment, like there's all sorts of podcasts. So whatever you're interested in, you can be sure that there's probably a podcast out there about it. And it's a nice change of pace to listening to music every day. I really got sick of listening to the radio, driving to work every day. And that's really how I got into podcasts. And it's been great because it's it's like I'm learning while I'm driving. It's almost like reading a book or watching a YouTube video while you're driving. And so you can multitask essentially. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos, part of our 30 apps in 30 days. Let me know what your favorite podcasts are in the comments below. I'm always looking for new podcasts to listen to. I'm open to suggestions. So if you listen to podcasts, leave a comment and let me know what your favorite podcasts are so I can check them out and, you know, keep on learning. All right, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.